So in our uh, little form of check I did on Friday on that Google form, uh, we, I had you answer the question, find all values of sine t equals a half. And after looking through the results, uh, not too many of you got uh, the entire right answer. A lot of you got half the credit, and I'll explain where it came from, but um, I, I want to go through the problem so that everyone knows how to solve a problem like this entirely. So the key here is we're not just finding sine t equals a half, we are finding all values of sine t equals a half. <coughs> so the first thing you have to do is determine in the unit circle, Uh, where exactly does your unit circle, or I'm sorry, where does it, does sine t equal a half? Well, let's see, sine of 0 is 0, um, 30 degrees is the square root 1 over 2, 60, oh, sorry, 45 degrees, square root 2 over 2, and so on. So we've already found that sine of 30 degrees is the one we want. Well, 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6. So the first time that our graph equals a half is when we've gone 30 degrees or pi over 6. So what we can do with that is say that <coughs> sine equals a half at pi over 6, but every time we go back around the circle, another 2 pi we're back to a reference angle of pi over 6. We go around again, we have another plus 2 pi, so we've really gone a total of 4 pi. We're back to pi over 6, so every time we add 2 pi to this thing, we're going to get the same 1 half. So our answer becomes pi over 6 plus 2 pi times k. So if we add 1 circle, 2 pi, if we add 2 circles, which is 4 pi, so on and so forth. The other, that, that's where most of you um, would have stopped. There's about two or three of you that kept going. Um, I'm going to erase this for now. But here's, here's where most people um, just kind of stopped working on this. If we have sine is positive in quadrant one, si sine is also uh, positive in quadrant two. And what that means is if I can find a reference angle in quadrant two that has pi over six reference angle, then essentially this right here, this reference angle of pi over 6 will also give me uh, 1 half. But in terms of the unit circle, all the way from 0 to this reference angle is actually 5 pi over 6. Now, several ways to figure that out, but essentially right here is just pi. Right, here's 0 degrees and 2 pi, so halfway around is pi. Um, you can look at pi in terms of fractions, you could call that 6 pi over 6. So here's 6 pi over 6 right here, we've gone back 1 pi over 6 <coughs> to get that reference angle. So 6 minus 1 is 5. So in other words, if you, and you can try this, try 5 pi over 6 in your calculator, you will get a half as your answer. okay. For your answer to this problem, 5 pi over 6 also gives us a half. But the same thing happens if we go all the way around our circle and add 2 pi to it. We're back to our reference angle, pi over 6. So if I add 2 pi, so that's 12. So if I add 2 pi to this, it'd be 17 pi over 6. So in your calculator, you can type in sine of 17 pi over 6, your calculator will spit out 0 0.5. So what we need to do to find all values is add 2 pi k again. So for sine, our original pi over 6 will give us a half, and then every time we go around the circle, but also 5 pi over 6, our second quadrant in which sine is positive, will give us 1 half as an answer. And then every time we go around the circle and go back to 5 pi over 6. So that is how we get our final answer. Pi over 6 plus 2 pi k 
and 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k.